We're here with UT Dallas, winners of uh, game eight of the elimination game, uh, winners of six to two at the NCAA D3 Spokane Regional. Congratulations, guys. Uh, moving on till tomorrow. You have a, a morning game, so we'll kind of get you going. Uh, players, please introduce yourselves, and then Coach, kind of tell us a little bit about how you thought this game went today. Yeah. Uh, Cole Hansen, senior right-handed pitcher. Uh, Ryan Bersiaga, junior shortstop. Second base. <laughs> And Shane Shoemake. Um, well, today's ball game was all about Cole over here. Um, you know, we gave up a couple of runs early. Um, you know, and but he settled down and you know goes nine innings and doesn't give up another run the rest of the way. And uh, we found an inning where we scratched some hits together. I think we scored all six runs with two outs, mm -hmm. um, which is hard to do. But these guys found a way, just strung some at bats together, and uh, we were able to pull out the win. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's let's start with the pitching. Uh, I got 107 pitches on that. I think it was 65% uh, strike strikeout or strike ratio. Um, looked solid throughout. How did you feel? I mean, did you feel that way right, right from the beginning? You felt like you were on. I did, but I knew that I would have to have my best stuff coming out from first inning because the top of their lineup is really really solid, and these guys don't strike out a lot, so you got to make quality pitches. But yeah, I would say. This is the best I've felt late in the game just because it's such a big atmosphere, such a big time game, and I just kind of let my teammates' energy and just the situation itself kind of fuel me throughout the game. And you had some of these guys behind you uh, running a two, six, four, three double plays to end innings, and they ended that first inning and then did it again, if I'm not mistaken, in the seventh after one of your few base or locks in the game. So uh, a little bit about the fielding and the hitting there. You had the big hit today, I think. Uh, yes, sir. I was uh, bases loaded, two outs. Um, I was sitting one pitch, one zone, so fastball in. And he was getting tired, so I knew that he was going to try to get one over. And luckily, I was on time. Could put, put a good swing on it. Yeah, yeah put a nice swing on it. A uh, couple RBIs there. Um, coach, about the rest of the game, I mean, I looked back, you guys had played Chapman in your first game of the season, mm -hmm. it was their, their second game, and you broke out front of that one for nothing. Right. Game ended not that way. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we played these guys um, and had a chance to win that one early and didn't get it done, but uh, we're a different team from where we were three months ago, as they are, and they're a quality team, and we knew they weren't going to give up, so we mm -hmm. were... You know, making sure that uh, you know we were making pitches. Our defense stepped up, made plays when we had to, and we were able to hold on. Cole, one of the questions I was thinking about for you was, as this game wore on, they brought in that reliever, and that reliever was kind of shutting that that your bats down. Did did you realize that, or were you just kind of in the zone and just stick to doing what you were doing? I mean, I can sit here and say I'm totally blind to everything else going on, but no, when you see another pitcher kind of going back and forth with you and honestly it's it's that competitive nature in all of us we want to match our counterpart and especially when you're pitching the the whole focus is pretty much on you so yeah I he pitched a really good game and it mm. it kind of helped me stay in the zone realizing man like I got to match what this guy's doing because I mean we were getting some hits here and there but he was kind of keeping us off the scoreboard for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Ryan comments aren't uh, uh, afraid to get multiple runs in the inning of those big innings. Talk about the attitude in the dugout. When you see guys getting up to get multiple base hits, what is the chemistry, what's the emotion going on during those big innings? Um, our approach is always to have quality at bats. So when we're able to string a couple in together, it rallies us and it keeps us going for the rest of the game. Now, now Cole, you got up to a rough start there in the first inning, a couple of ground balls that got through the infield in the air, got that two run against you. Did you change anything? after your first inning, or did you just hunker down and do what you were already doing? No, I would say I stayed true to what my game plan was. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to overpower anyone, so I'm a guy who mixes it up a lot off speed, and I just kind of trusted that what I've been doing all year would uh, eventually work and show results in this game, too. So now I've, I've had a lot of experience in some pressure situations, so I would say I just tried to handle it, stay, stay calm, and not press. Coach, going into tomorrow, you got to win three more games to get out of this regional. Talk about how important it was to have three starting pitchers that gave you so much and didn't have to go your bullpen that much. No, that's huge. With what we've got in front of us, all my you know, other pitchers are fresh right now. So uh, that gives us hopefully some confidence with our guys knowing that we've got a lot of arms left down in the bullpen and uh, we hopefully 
can scratch a couple across early and, and see what we can do. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you in the morning. Yes, sir.